So yesterday we discussed two patients with some tummy pain following eating out, but which is the more serious? The more urgent patient is the one with Crohn's disease. Bilious vomiting, not passing any flatus, and a distended abdomen. Someone with prior abdominal surgery should make you think of adhesional small bowel obstruction. So what shall we do? Keep a nil by mouth and insert a wide bore NG tube for decompression. Start intravenous fluid and replace any lost electrolytes. She'll need a CT abdomen pelvis with IV contrast, an early surgical referral and serial lactate measurement to track progress. Rising lactate or worsening pain should be a prompt to take it to theatre sooner. Post-operative adhesions are responsible for the vast majority of small bowel obstruction you'll see. Bilious vomiting, tinkling bowel sounds, and the absence of flatus are the typical descriptions of mechanical bowel obstruction. Now, food poisoning would give diarrhea, but obstruction means there's nothing passing out the back end. The other patient shows pretty classic gastroenteritis. Ongoing diarrhea, flatus preserved though, and a soft abdomen. Oral rehydration, send a stool culture, and watch and wait. So what diseases should we cover next? We'll leave your suggestions in the comments and follow for the next case.